Hi, my name is Oluwa Joba and you're welcome to Gospel Keys Easy. So today's tutorial is about how to use chords to play melodies. So if this is something you've been struggling with, this tutorial will help you to get started in the right direction. Please show your love and support by liking this video, it really goes a long way in helping the channel to grow as well as helping other people to find our tutorials. So now, let's do this. Alright, so I believe that beginners and intermediates will find this video more useful. So if you find it a bit difficult to play songs or melodies with chords, then this video should really help you to get started, okay? So the first thing you should be able to do is to be able to play melodies using single notes. Like for example, for the song, there is a fountain filled with blood. Okay, so you should be able to do this very easily and you should be able to play the melody of any song by heart. So even without thinking about it, you should be able to play the melody of any song. So if this is something you're still struggling with, then you need to get this out of the way first. You need to be able to do this easily. And one tip to be able to do this is to really understand your tonic solfers very well. So if you really know your tonic solfers in and out, then you should find it easier to play melodies of songs very easily. All right, so that's the first thing. Secondly, you need to be able to make your chords to give desired melodies. All right, so what I'll do now is I'll use chords to play the full tonic solfer and you'll have a better understanding of what I'm talking about. And I'm doing this in the key of C. Okay, so this is what I can do with chords. I can use chords to play melodies. Now, without even thinking about it, I know that if I strike this chord, I'm going to get the melody saw. If I play this chord, I get the note la, la. A lot of chords can give me the melody of la, but then I have to play the chord that really goes with the chord progression of the song. So it's kind of like thinking about two things at the same time. You're trying to play the chord progression of the song. You're trying to play the melody as well. And you're trying to make sure that the melody you're playing, it goes with the chord you're playing and vice versa. Okay. So using this song, there is a fountain filled with blood. I would play like this. Right, so that's just one way to play the song. I'm sure you can, I'm sure there are about 1001 other ways to play the song using all kinds of chords and chord progressions and roots or routes, okay? So let me explain exactly what was going on while I was playing. So two things are going on. I'm playing a chord progression and I'm also making sure that my chords reflect the melody of the song. Okay, so if I was not playing this song, I would be playing these chords.
right so what i've done here is i've tried as much as possible to not play the melody of the song but i've tried to play the almost exactly the same chords i played before so for me what i'm actually thinking in my head is i'm thinking about this same chord progression but when it comes to playing these chord progressions i make sure that the chords actually reflect the melody of the song and this is possible because one i can play the melody of the song very well and two i can make my chords to to reflect the exact melody i want to play and this is something you can master through practice and there are ways you can get there gradually and i'm going to show you a few things you can start to do to get you to that level so the first thing you need to be able to do, and I already mentioned this before, is you need to be able to play the melody of any song, anytime. Okay, so once you get that out of the way, the next thing you can try to do is you can try to use drop two chords to play the melodies of a song. Okay, so let's say you're not sure what you're doing, then you can start to use drop two chords. And this will kind of, you know, give you that feel that you're playing chords with melodies. Okay, and what's a drop two chord? Let's take a C major chord for example. Okay, so that's a C major chord. So from the far right, that's my first note, that's the second note, and that's the third note. So if I drop the second note and I bring it to my left hand, I have a drop two chord now. Okay, so starting from the Do, which is okay so starting from the do if i if i play that drop two i can go up okay and when it comes to this drop two chords, you can use multiple chords to generate the same melody. Okay, so for example, drop two for Do, that's a C major chord, and I could use F major as well. I could use A minor as well. So we have three options for the do melody okay so when you're using drop two chords to play melodies of your songs you now need to be able to determine what chord to use however even if you're not sure you can just use whichever one comes to you and you should be fine so for the song there is a fountain fill with blood i'm going to try to play this using drop two chords and i won't really bother about the chords i won't really focus on the chords to play so here we go Okay, so here, usually you would not end a song on the chord 4, so at least if you're doing this using drop 2 chords, you want to try to end on the 1, which would be this. So we have... Okay, so you want to end on the 1, like that. So I'm just going to do this one more time. I'll do it slowly so you can catch exactly what I'm doing.
Okay, so this is what you can do with drop two chords. So what you want to do first is you want to practice how to play drop two chords. You want to be able to do a lot with them. Like you want to be able to do this, for example. Okay, so you want to be able to do this with your drop two chords. You want to be able to play them really fast and just and just play with the drop two chords and make sure that you master them very well. Then you want to start to try to use them to play melodies. I believe that this should help you to get started. All right, so another thing you can do is you can play chords with your left hand and play melodies with your right hand. Okay, so this can get you started in the right direction. And some of you out there may be thinking that, but I can't even play chords with my left hand. And I'm going to show you how you can start to train your left hand to be able to play chords. So this is what you want to do. You want to just play your favorite songs all day, every day using left hand only. And then you're going to try to do even the soloing part using your left hand only. So your right hand doesn't touch the keyboard at all. Okay, so I'll just show you a quick example now and I'll be doing this with the same song in the key of C. Okay, so this is what you want to do all day and when you start to attempt to do this you might not be able to do this very quickly at first but you're going to start slowly and you're going to start to improve gradually and this is how you get to that level where you're able to play chords with your left hand and then you can obviously solo or play melodies with your right hand and with this method you may not be able to do as much as when you're doing the full thing like playing like this You won't be able to do that because you just have your left hand just playing the chords and you can't really add a lot of nuances to your playing but this is a good way to get started so this is something you can do Okay, so this is what you can do and what you want to do is you want to start slowly. You could do left hand alone first. Just hum the song to yourself. All 
right, so that's what you can do. You can start with your left hand alone and then you can try to combine both hands and see how this goes. And this should get you started in the right direction. And then you want to get to that place where you can play the full stuff with both hands. And let's do another demonstration with what a friend we have in Jesus. Okay, so what I'll do now is I'll show you exactly what I've done with the song What a Friend We Have in Jesus. So, so that's my that's my starting of the song. And for all the chords, you know that for all the chords I play, you know that I always have the melody on the top. So my chords are bringing out the melody of the song. So this is a chord one and on my left hand I have C, G, E, on my right hand I have A, D, G Then I play chord 5 next So that's a chord 5 So that's a 5, 1 1 5, 1 So the chord 5 is a G, D, A, on my right hand I have B flat, D, F, A So on my left hand I have C, G, E, on my right hand I have B flat, D and E. Now this is the full chord, but because I want the melody of the song to come out, I'm not playing the full chord, I'm playing just this. Now this is something you will be able to do yourself with time when you know your chords and the kind of melodies they can produce very well, okay? I play this for the wand and I play the melody and now I have a proper chord 4 then I go to the sharp 4 diminished chord F sharp A on my left hand on my right hand C E flat F sharp and A so that's a chord 3 E G on my left hand on my right hand B, C, and G. So I use the notes of the C major to play. Okay, however, on my left hand, I have the A, E, and G notes held down, and on my right hand, I'm playing. So I have a chord 2 now. So on my left hand I have D, F, A. I could also play this. Okay. D, A, F. And on my right hand I'm playing C, F, A, D. Then I play this as a passing tone. So on my left hand I have D. On my right hand I have F major and that's a chord 5 
G D F B two five back to the chord one. Okay, so back to the chord three. So we've seen this one before. Chord three, chord six. So on my left hand I have A E G. On my right hand C E G A C. Chord two. So on my left hand I have D A C. On my right hand I have F G A C. And I'm playing the melody. So the chord 5, on my left hand I have G, F, on my right hand I have F major, then I switch to the G major, on my right hand, F major, G major, to the chord 1, C, G, E, or D, E, on my right hand, C, D, E, G, I could add A as well, C. Then I play this pass into. Okay, so we have chord two. D C on my right hand, D minor. To the chord five, G D on my left hand, on my right hand I have F A D. Then I do this diminished chord, C sharp E on my right hand, G B flat, C sharp E. the chord 2 and then chord 5 which is G D left hand right hand F B D chord 1 C G E on my right hand G B E chord 2 chord 3 and I have E, D on my left hand, on my right hand, G, C, D, G. Chord 4, F, C, F, G. On my right hand I have A minor. Okay, and that's a chord 3. E, D on my left hand, on my right hand, G, B, D. And that's a diatone chord. On my left hand I have A and C sharp. On my right hand I have G, C, F. Then I play the melody. So I play suspended chord here. So I suspend the chord 2. C on my right hand, G A D. Then I play this chord two on my right hand, F sharp, B D. Chord five, G D, D minor on my right hand, six seven. I have A. And F on my left hand, right hand, G, C. Then I take that up one whole step to the chord one. On my left hand, I have C major. On my right hand, I have A, D, G. And I play this chord five. 
G F on my right hand, B flat D F A. Chord three, chord six. We've seen these chords before. On my left hand, on my right hand, F A C E, and I could add the G as well. So I play the melody of the song to the chord five, G F on my right hand, F major. Switch the F major to G major. And to the chord one. C G A D E G A C. Then I do the wrong. Okay, so we've come to the end of this tutorial I believe that this really helps a lot so you start from learning how to play melodies and you can try your hands on drop two chords also learn how to play chords with your left hand and play melodies with your right hand and this should be able to help you to get started with playing melodies with chords All right so I want to say thank you very much for watching take care of yourself and I'll see you in the next one